Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this lesson, we're going to discuss the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool allows us to have certain types of automatic selections. So for example, I have all of these colors blue here, and I like to select all of the objects that are blue on here. But it might be that I have this black stroke that I want to select, and I want to select all the objects that have a black stroke. So if you think about an illustration you may have, you may have that people are all wearing the same color uniform that you've drawn, and you want to change that color uniform from black to white, you can very easily do that by selecting all of those objects. So let's go over here to our magic wand tool, and you're going to see it's going to tell us what it's going to do. You can see the keyboard shortcut, everything like that, nice little graphic visualization of what it does. But let's go ahead and go a little bit deeper into this tool before I show you what it does by double clicking on it. Now this is a very important and very unique nuance to Illustrator that many of these icons, many of these tools have the ability to double click on them to see extra options available to you. Now I just double clicked on the icon and now this just appeared. Now when this appears it's going to ask us well what are we going to affect essentially when we're doing our selection. Are we looking at just the fill color? Are we looking at just the stroke color, the stroke weight, opacity, blending mode, that type of thing? So for example, using the magic wand tool, now that it's activated, I'm gonna simply click right here on this blue. And you'll notice that I click on one blue and every single one of these objects that has a fill color of blue will then get selected. Now you'll notice that there's also a tolerance level. Well, let's just say for example, I have a slightly darker blue or a slightly lighter color blue. Depending on the tolerance I've chosen, it's going to select those. So the higher tolerance, the more sort of open it's going to be to say, hey, listen, you're kind of blue, I'll go and add that. If you lower that down, there's gonna be less of a chance that you're gonna get it selected. So depending on what you have that selected as, you have kind of different gradations of a blue, you might wanna just adjust your tolerance. Now let's go ahead and go to my stroke color now. And I'm just gonna just deselect here, just good practice. And I have my stroke color. And this time I'm gonna choose all of the whites. So I go over to here, go to my magic wand tool, and I'm gonna simply just click here. And you'll notice that I selected on the object. Now I didn't select directly on the stroke color, right? But you'll see that as a result, it actually just did the red and the white, the red and the white, it did all of those, but it didn't do the red and the black. It didn't do the blue and the white. Okay, so very important there. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect. Okay, but this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect fill color. So therefore, only objects that have a certain stroke color will then get affected. So let's go ahead and now do the white again. I'm going to click on this. And now you'll notice that every single object that has a white stroke color now gets selected. Earlier, I had both of these selected. So therefore, it was like, okay, well, both of these things have to exist in order for that object to then be selected. Okay, so just keeping that in mind how that works. So let's go ahead and just try one more. I'm just gonna go ahead now and just deselect this one here, go to my stroke weight, and you'll see now it says, okay, well, we have kind of a tolerance of five points. Okay, as opposed to this other unit of measure of tolerance, which is no points or pixels. It's just basically sort of a percentage. You're gonna see here is a point. So I'm gonna go ahead and just deselect now, come back to my magic wand tool, and let's just bring this down a little bit. And I'll just bring this down to, let's just say two. All right, very good. Now it's only about the stroke weight, and I only want ones that are going to have that level of stroke. So notice I'm only getting the ones that have a very thin stroke there. So they really are giving you a lot of choices to work with here in terms of our fill color, our stroke color, and our stroke weight. And if you are working with opacity, you might want to then select all objects that have a certain level of transparency or opacity around it. Okay, so know the option is there at this point. I'm just gonna focus on this since this is really just the beginning of the class. But note that if you are going a little more advanced, you do have other options for opacity and blending mode as well, which we will not be discussing in this course, but certainly some of you may be a little bit more advanced, so you might want to explore that, okay? But really, really awesome tool, very easy to use. But just to remind you again, the tricky part is gonna be that first part of just double clicking on that.
All right, so one more time, I'm just gonna close this, come back to this, double click on it, so you can see what your options are. All right, so pause the video, practice that, and we'll see you in the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.